Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and I'm back for another video. This time we're going to be going over the profile video of Kaiju Girl Heisei Godzilla. You guys have clearly voted for her. So, I'm going to go on ahead and give you guys the little profile video of her. For starters, her origin story is very similar to that of the movie Heisei Godzilla. So... Don't expect much, nothing dramatic. Well, everything is sort of similar. The only thing that's not similar to the movie is... Um, the only thing that's different about her origin story is that she is the daughter of... Of Godzilla, 1975. But everything else is the same. Now, I have to go his say Godzilla's personality is sort of similar to that of Hanji from Attack on Titan who was fascinated and basically overwhelmed with titans all up in her mind. But unlike Hanji, she doesn't have the mind... Her mind isn't full of a titan. She's not obsessed with titans. The only thing she's obsessed with is Godzilla's strength, his determination to become a good leader, and, of course, with him being a good, respectful king. That's the only thing Kajiko Heisei Godzilla likes about him. She's just fascinated at the fact that Godzilla is just a good leader. He's not only a good leader, but he's also a good king. He's a good, respectful king. He respects... everyone. And this is because, well, Godzilla's most personality is almost very similar to that of his own father, Dagon. Dagon was a, known to be a respectful king. Very respectful, kind to the people, kind to the creatures. That's just where Godzilla gets his personality from. He got it from his father. Kaiju Girl Heisei Godzilla is not, not much of a fan of humans. She she does she doesn't hate them. She just doesn't, doesn't take a huge liking to them. She doesn't mind saving them from time and time again. This is that she's not a big fan of them. Now, for those of you who are wondering, wondering about the scar on her face. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys sort of noticed the scar on her face from Zildsausen's video when he repeat Well, not Zildsausen's video, my video. When I showed you guys these Kaiju Girl Godzillas. And if you're wondering, what scar? Or, I didn't see no scar. Well, let me help you out with that. Okay, so... Let me just zoom in on her face real quick. Yeah, can you see the scar now? I'm pretty sure you can. If I wonder where did she got that scar? Well, let's just say she got into a fight with Queen Ghidorah. Fun fact, Kaiju Girl Heisei Godzilla was the first one to pick a fight with Queen Ghidorah when Queen Ghidorah first appeared onto their universe. When Queen Ghidorah first arrived to their universe, well, first rise on their planet in their universe. In fact, it was Kaiju Girl got Kaiju Girl Heisei Godzilla who was the first one to take a fight with her. And of course, this resulted with her getting severely wounded in the process. Therefore, she ended up getting that scar on her face. Another fun fact: she was in love with. Godzilla rules of Earth. 
she wanted to to start a relationship with God's still the rulers of Earth. But after seeing what Catch Girl guys had to go through, and after what, how the way he's been treating his daughter, she didn't. She no longer wanted to have a relationship with God's little rules of Earth. She rather preferred to have a relationship with nobody. I mean, if she was going to have a husband who was going to treat her child, child badly if she was a girl. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Catch the Girl, he said God's will no longer wanted to be with with God's will rules of Earth on how the way he treats his wife and daughter. The next interesting thing is the fact on when they arrived to Godzilla's universe. And when she fell in love with Godzilla, she found out that she wasn't the only one who fell in love with Godzilla. In fact, her other Kaiju Girl Godzilla friends, Kaiju Girl Godzilla, Kaiju Girl Shin Godzilla, Kaiju Girl Millennium Godzilla, the three of them, she found out that the three of them fell in love. So this was a problem, because they all had feelings for one particular guy. It wasn't until when Kaiju Girl Godzilla declared that they should share him. Basically, they should all have one husband. They all should belong to Godzilla. But was basically what she was trying to tell them. Basically, yeah, that. And of course, they kind of agree. After all, Godzilla is the king of the monsters. He could choose anyone he wants to be his wife. It doesn't even have to be one wife. He could choose multiple wives if he wants to. And surprisingly, they agreed on another term that they should each have their own week with him. Basically, they get the entire week with the guy. And surprisingly enough, Catch Girl Haystack Godzilla was the first one to jump in and just be like, I want to have the first week with him. Because Catch Girl Haystack Godzilla never fell in love with anyone. She tried to fall in love with someone, but it never really worked. She wanted to know what it feels like to be truly happy. To have someone to love her, be there for her, comfort her, support her. She wanted to know what it felt like. And when she met the mighty king of the monsters, she finally knew what it felt like. And when she got that weekend with him, with Godzilla, she finally learned on She finally knows on what it feels like. And it feels amazing to her. She finally feels truly happy. You could kind of say she was kind of sad a lot. She was really sad. All she wanted was to be happy. But now she finally gets her wish. Not only that, but eventually she will end up having a child with Godzilla. So, yeah. So that's it for Kaiju Girl Heisei Godzilla, folks. So, if you have any more Kaiju if you... Which Kaiju Girl Godzilla would you like me to go over next? Kaiju Girl Shin Godzilla, Kaiju Girl Millennium Godzilla, Kaiju Girl Final Wars, or Kaiju Girl 54. See you guys picking the console. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video.